Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you an advanced trick in Inkscape. If you use images with transparency, like for example, this image happens to be one. Now, this is about creating border, giving a border around an image, a bitmap image. Uh, for example, to make this one stand out from the background color, I would like a white border around everything. That is part of the image, so so I don't have to trace it and waste precious time for this. I'm going to use the trace bitmap feature. Shift Alt B. It opens up this window and then you just select the image that you want and press update. As you can see this is quite horrible. So let's up the threshold to 0 0.99. Do not set it to 0 0.999 or it will not work anymore. Instead just use 0 0.99 and this will be a pretty good result. Let's press OK and uh, then maybe we need, to, yeah, we need to fix this. We can go to edit, uh, node edit mode and just delete these and delete these and usually this is the way I go. There is a different way if you want to maximize efficiency of this uh, this step where it turns to a vector based on um, the darkness. So to uh, make that even more efficient, but I'll show you that in a second. For now, let me just show you the end result. Here is the white border. Let's set it to maybe 22 pixels. I mean, uh, I mean, it's black now, so let's set it to white. All right, here we go. And now we're going to move the image in the foreground. And here we are. Pretty good. So let me just delete the image, delete the outline and save this. Now we can make this more efficient by, for example, going to GIMP. By efficient, I mean the step where it turns the image into a vector image. So GIMP is over here. And I'm going to just drag this in and I'm going to go to Colors and Levels. That is my go to tool for that. And I'm just going to drag this all the way to the right for output levels, the white one to black. It's either. So then I'm going to press OK and just Control Shift E to export it right in the same folder, maybe with the word black at the end. All right, there we go. I can kill GIMP. So here it is. So what we do now is we import both images. We position them identically. You can group them if you have to. And then I'm just going to move this backwards. Here it is. Let's go ahead and press Shift Control B. Sorry, Shift Alt B. And now if we hit update here, you can see everything is black where it's black. Press OK. Now you can use F, uh, F2, the node tool to check whether you're selecting the bitmap or the vector. So let me just move this back. Now select this. This is the bitmap. Delete it. And here's the vector and I'm just going to give it 22 pixels of uh, border, no fill, and the border is already white. All right, so now I'm just going to move this back and we get the same result. And we had to meddle with it a little less in Inkscape, but still this thing, for example, I want to delete and this. So you still get to do stuff manually if you are a perfectionist, depending on whether you thought these should be removed or not. So this is uh, another way to do it which takes a bit of time in GIMP, but makes the step of converting the image into a vector more clean. Now, there's another thing I did to make this faster because GIMP is quite slow with its UI. What you can use is you can use a command line tool, for example, Image Magic, which I happen to have installed at C Program Files Image Magic version number. There's convert and then there's there you use also the levels function as you can see in this highlight. So what I did, I made it possible to actually do this with a right click and then press color to black. As you can see, it creates this image that we just created in GIMP in less than a second. Here's the image. This is the exact same result. To be able to get this, you will have to first install Image Magic. They have an installer on their official website, linked at least. And you have to know the path of where it is installed. Then you will need to open the registry. 
and go to this path computer h key class root system file associations slash image slash shell slash color to black now this one i created i went to shell and i created this i think it's a key new key yeah these are called keys uh so i'm gonna just delete this one so and then after this key has been created uh color to black i created another key in here which was called command color to black itself only has the name and here in command i actually changed the data to quotation marks path to converted exe quotation mark space quotation mark percentage one which is the file that is right clicked quotation mark then space plus level space zero comma zero space quotes percentage one quotes minus mono dot png wait these quotes are too many okay yeah it still works so this command you can find in the description of this video this is what you have to paste there once you have it you might have to restart explorer.exe or just log out and log in again and then you can do it in uh in in the context menu equally as quickly in windows and then you can use the image in inkscape again just drag it right in here press alt shift b you don't even have to set this to 0 0.99 anymore and then you get your image uh, to vector step right quickly here. so i hope this helped please like and subscribe to support this channel hit that bell notification icon and i will see you in the next video until then Ciao!